Hey guys, Hello Bella here, coming to you from the kitchen table. I'm back at my house and I am really, really happy to be home. I had a really fun time in Chattanooga and Gatlinburg, but five days of travel is enough to make anyone just kind of want to see their house. Um, so I'm here with the boys. We're chilling out, we're hanging out, we're doing, we're doing stuff, we're eating food, we're drinking coffee, we are really just relaxing. Um, I've been trying to read a couple of books the last few days and they've all sucked. Like literally every book that I've cracked open, I've read like the first 20 pages and been like, this is garbage. So, um, yeah. If you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. I just finished reading Crushing It by Gary Vee and I think that that book like was built me up so high that like now every book that I read after that just sucks. So, um, but anyways, I have um, a new tripod so if the quality of this video is a little bit better or if the angles are better, that's great because I paid like $10 for that to happen for you guys to be able to see all this going on in the background and all this cool stuff and see the dog and hopefully, yes, they want to see you. Um, Eventually, I'll probably get better at making videos, but for now, don't count on it. Uh, just count on the content that I'm producing, and um, hopefully, I can keep you guys somewhat entertained. So, let's talk about the business. Um, this video is titled, Should I Sell My Business Part 2? Um, you guys know that I tried to do a live recording yesterday, and it sucked because the quality was so bad. But, at the same time, I would manage to talk for like 30 minutes without a script and without any bullet points. And I think that, that is, I'm going to consider that a win. Um, one of the things that I'm trying to practice is getting better at going live so I can do Facebook live videos for my real estate um, open houses and different things and that I'm going to try out um, with my real estate career. But, the business thing. So this week I am speaking with someone from Empire Flippers about the possible sale of my merch account and maybe even my FBA account. I don't know. Um, a lot of people were like, that's crazy. Why would you do that? If you have money coming in, then why are you trying to get rid of your income source? And I'm like, you guys don't understand how much it takes to run two things and keep them going and sort of maintain them and not only maintain them, but to make them grow. So if someone would put in even 10 to 20 hours a week on those businesses, they could really, really grow. Um, and I don't know if it's just that I've gotten lazy or I've gotten bored with it or I'm just burnt out. I think burnout is the major thing. Someone commented on one of my on the last video and they were like, you sound really burnt out. And I was like, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's probably what it is. Because when I thought about selling my businesses, I was just like so relieved. Like I was like, oh my God, you mean it would finally be over? Like I wouldn't have to, <laughs> I wouldn't have to pack up boxes and I wouldn't have to make t-shirt designs anymore. And I know that's like such a first world problem, guys. Like I understand that. But at the same time, like I want to wake up every morning and do something that kind of like gets me jazz. Like I want to learn and I want to be um, having fun in whatever I do and sort of whatever I do I want it to benefit me in the long run and so you know making shirt after shirt design and scanning books I've sort of grown all I can grow with that um, I think that it's if, if anything I would probably try to do a different kind of Amazon FBA business like private label or something like that but if I sell my businesses Combined, I can probably get a decent amount of startup capital to do another business. So, um, and, and all of you like serial entrepreneurs probably know what I'm talking about when I'm like, oh, I'm so sick of this, I want to do something else. Like, the average person's like, why would you sell it after you put in all that work and figured everything out? And I'm like, well, because I want to put in work on something else and I want to figure something else out. So, that's sort of where I'm at right now with that decision. Um, and of course, it will... <laughs> Thanks. Do you, you guys see this? Of course, it will <laughs> depend on um, whether or not the guys can work with my business. It only has um, a few years of financial statements, and this year I'll file, ta file taxes for like five different businesses. This year I have to file taxes for Merch by Amazon, Amazon FBA, Lyft, Airbnb, and real estate. Um, and that is just insane. Like... I feel, I don't feel sorry for my accountant because I pay her, but like she, she is the real MVP because she understands what I'm telling her and what I'm doing. Like some people that I talk to about, oh, well, what do you do for a living? I'm like, oh my God, like I, I can't even articulate it. Like uh, a lot of shit on the internet. Like if you just want to sum it up, what do I, how do I make money? I sell shit on the internet. 
Um, and, in, and being in real estate, I really don't think it's going to change much because I'm still going to be listing houses on the internet. Um, at the end of the day, all it really is is a listing. You're showing something off to the public. You're trying to persuade them. Um, the only difference is you have more in-person contact. You have more phone calls instead of little angry eBay messages that people like to send me when I'm on vacation. Not really venting or anything, am I, guys? Um, but <laughs> they... Um, the um, relationship, the customer relationship management is a little bit different. So I am excited to see how I transition, transition, trans transition into that field. Um, yeah, I am really rambling today. I think I'm sort of like excited about something for the first time in a long time. Like I feel like I'm dating a new boy. Like I'm just like, I'm so ready to get up in the morning and like work on the business. And I haven't felt like that in a really long time. And that's sort of one of the other reasons why I know that it may be time to throw in the towel on those other endeavors for now. Not saying that I won't come back to it, um, I may just leave it alone. I may just let fourth quarter run and put up a few uh, Halloween, Christmas, yada, yada, yada designs and play around with it. But at this current moment in time, not really feeling super passionate about the other businesses that I own. So if anything, I, I would rather just buy another house and do Airbnb and rent out and do that and have a property management team help me do that. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts? What do you think if, if this is a really dumb idea or if this is like, I don't know, somebody commented, I put it on a Facebook group that I was kind of wanting to do this, and she said it's actually a, a really decent exit strategy. She said you've put in the time and you've done all this work and you're ready to move on and you want to give it to somebody who will also be willing to sort of foster uh, what you've built and make it into something even bigger. Um, maybe even double it or triple it. Um, but yeah, that is sort of what's been on my mind lately. I'm trying to think of any other relevant information to give you guys. Tomorrow I'm meeting with my broker um, and asking him all the questions that I've come up with in my little brain here in the last couple of days since I've been gone. Um, I had a person ask me to sell their house and I realized that I didn't even know where to start. Like I was like, okay, well I know that we have to do like a listing appointment and go see the house and we have to like do a market analysis and see what the house is probably worth and then we have to make sure who says they own the house owns the house and um, that there's no liens on it or anything like that so he's going to be helping me out with all of that I am really thankful that I have a good broker and that he is sort of on my side and then we have we basically we have our qualifying broker and then we have three other owners who are all women in our office who uh, are the Com combined three women, one man own the Caldwell Bankers Pinnacle Properties in the Shoals. I made a Facebook page for my real estate career. I think I'm going to leave that in the description below. It's it's Isabella Rowland Real Estate Caldwell Banker Pinnacle Properties. So if you would go and click the like button on that, that would be super great. Um, and you don't even have to follow it. I think you can just like it and then unfollow me so you don't have to see my shit. Um, but if you want to see my shit, that'd be cool too. Um, I'm going to be posting some stuff about the area that we live in, the good places to eat, good places to hike, um, where I like to go and sort of do different activities, sort of a personal feel, um, to my page. And I'm also going to be posting my listings and my open house, uh, things and things of that nature. I'm going to make a video on Facebook ads pretty soon because the last week, then the last, actually the last three days, I've been going hard trying to learn Facebook ads. I'm like studying up on all these different videos and there is information out there, but there's not that much information out there because when I Googled it and when I asked in the Facebook groups about it, they were like really vague and then some people were trying to sell me their course or their bullshit or their whatever on Facebook ads for real estate agents. I'm like, I just fucking asked you do you do Facebook ads? And you're trying to sell me a course on Facebook ads. So I know that Facebook ads are working and I know that other agents don't know how to work them because you're trying to sell a course on it. So basically, um, I'm going to have to figure something out. I think the easiest way for me to learn is to just run ads and see what works because I live in an area with about 70,000 people in a combined four towns. So the Shoals is Sheffield, Muscle Shoals, Tuscumbia, Florence. So Florence has like 39,000 and then the rest of the towns make up the other part of the population. 
So what I'm doing is I'm running ads in the Shoals area. I'm running ads with people about a, in a 11 to 12 mile radius around me and I'm going to see how it goes. But yeah, this video is sort of just me ranting. I'm trying to get better at going live as I said earlier. Um, the biggest thing is that I'm not very good at looking into the camera. I think I can look into the camera better when it's like my laptop and it's got the little like thing. Someone even suggested that you should like um, put little eyeballs on your screen so you're like looking at it. But I don't know. I think getting a tripod is a good step because you can see more of the visuals of what's going on. And my hair is all jacked up because I've been on the road for like five and a half, six hours. But we did finally get back. I just ordered my pictures from free prints i don't know if you guys know free prints here's a plot twist for you it ain't really free but it is pretty cheap i think it was like eight bucks for me to get all my photos printed off so i'm gonna be looking through these and probably putting some of them sending some of those to family members and stuff like that here's a picture of me and my wonderful cousin sam i don't know if you guys know sam but he is the best human probably that you'll ever meet. Um, Sam, if you're watching, shout out to you. Love you. Um, and a couple of these are for my cousin's birthday party. Blah, blah, blah. Here's my grandma. Here's when I went hiking. Here's me at the gym. So yeah, sometimes I get regular pictures printed because I wanna be all like nostalgic and shit. And sometimes I'm like, well, what if like the internet and all the websites that I use one day they're not there anymore. And my kids are like, where are all the pictures of you from when you're young? And I'm like, oh, I lost them on MySpace. So, did you guys have a MySpace? Because I had a MySpace. It was rad. I was like, I was on MySpace all the time. I was on MySpace then as much as I'm on YouTube now. So, um, I think that I've just always been a tech geek in some way or another. Definitely not really big on the, um, on Twitter. Maybe I'll get on Twitter eventually. But I think that Twitter's not, Twitter is more for conversations, and I'm, I don't know, I just, I never got into that one, so. Here's some good, good photos. There's me at the auction. Here's me and my grandma. We're looking all cute on St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah, but my family is all in town, so I'm gonna, like, wrap this up and go ahead and go over there and hang out with them for a little while. Um, so, yeah, I would be interested to see what you guys think about the whole um potential sell of my business slash businesses um i don't really know if this is even this could just be like vacation talk and me leaving my area for a little while and getting all crazy um but yeah i think that it's something that i'm gonna genuinely think about i'm just so tired i'm like so burnt out and I'm ready to kind of move on. It's like when you date someone for a long time and you loved them at one point, but now you're over and you know you're over, but you're both still living in the same house and you're like, <sighs> yeah. But anyways, um, hope you guys have a great Sunday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. Have a great day. You're a beautiful person. You deserve everything in the world. Everything, every happiness that the world has to offer, you deserve it. And if you want to change your life and make something in your life, just do it. Don't be a little bitch. Don't be like, I can't do that. I don't have time. Just actually make a plan and, you know, make a to-do list. Write out your goals. Just be ambitious and I will talk with you guys soon.